Okay, hello Guardians, this is Dr. Destiny here, and this video I'm going to be covering what I find annoying in the Crucible and what type of changes I'd like within this current meta. Now, obviously, some of these things have been ongoing for since the beginning of Destiny. Uh, I've been playing since the Alpha, so I know pretty much most of the metas which have been changing due to gun balancing, uh, supers, subclasses, yada yada yada. Obviously, in the gameplay, I'll probably be using some of these annoying things myself, certain weapon types, which obviously some are more balanced now than they used to be, and obviously some which still need a bit more tweaking. So the first thing I'd go over, again, this is obviously my opinion, so obviously leave it in the comment section below in a constructive way. We'll have what stuff you find annoying and what you think is probably me just moaning for the sake of moaning and what you don't think is that bad. But first off, I would say anything which is one hit kills. So first off, grenades. Fusion grenades for Sun Singers and obviously for Sunbreakers for Titans. Trip mines, which are fucking annoying. And flux grenades for art blades as well, or blade dancers. So, typically, with these ones, they shouldn't be as easy as to get one hit kills. There shouldn't be any grenades that do one hit kills, everything kills. I typically use Axiom Bolts because I main a Void Walker uh, Warlock. And then I main, well, I main Warlocks anyways with Void Walker Calder. Uh, secondary will be Titan with some breakers. So I use fusion grenades because so, they're the best and um, unfortunately broken at the moment. And for Gunslinger, for Hunters, which again would be Trip Mines. When I use Trip Mines, they never seem to work. But when I'm playing against someone who's very good, even with the radius that they have, they have too much. They need to be reduced a little bit, or the damage output needs to be reduced in itself. With certain subclasses, and obviously certain things where you get an extra trip mine or extra grenade, with certain uh, bits of armor, it's ridiculous. I'll have a match where I think I had one in Iron Banner this uh, last week, where I got killed by the same guy with trip mines probably about four times, and then obviously by other people probably about three times so overall in one match I died seven times I think that's my maths correct uh, <laughs> um, six or seven times from grenades alone and it's not because not obviously I'm a retard I'm just running into certain things they obviously jump in and then throwing them at my head when they're close range obviously my fault for probably getting too close but I'll typically run in shotgun build or I'll be using sidearm so I'm going to be getting close anyways also, you get the last ditch attempt people who obviously know they're going to die, so they throw one last minute, basically like martyrdom in Call of Duty, and they get a free kill, which is absolute bullshit, because if they're dead anyways, they shouldn't be able to get a kill afterwards, first off. When the trip mines need to obviously be, once the person is dead, need to disappear, that doesn't happen, they can get cheap kills from that as well. So first off, that one. Fluxes are not as bad, but they can be quite annoying. Skip grenades, I don't mind. Axiom Bolts, I don't mind, because they don't fully kill someone. They only kill someone if they've already taken damage beforehand from somebody else, so a group kill, and then the Axiom Bolt will track them. To be honest, they probably could need a little bit of um, reduction in itself with damage, but these ones, one hit kill, grenades, definite no-no, should not be there. Secondly, Striker Titans with Shoulder Charge. Again, fuck off. Why should you have a one hit kill with just basically running around the map, Shoulder charging, obviously skating along, doing all sorts of sh shit. And obviously now we've got the fucking cancer of the Crucible Juggernaut Titans. Which you probably find have two shotguns now, because Universal Remote. And then they have the secondary, which will obviously be a standard shotgun anyways. And then with Juggernaut, they're basically semi-invincible. So, fuck me, super annoying. Shoulder charge should have more of a delay. They shouldn't be able to be one hit kill. They should be three quarters of the health down, and then you kill someone else uh, with enough weapon afterwards doesn't make take too much skill to learn how to do that I haven't personally done it myself but shotgunning in general in the game personally with the movement and the small maps I find it very very easy to do I can blink shotgun cheese my way through a match and get first place if I really want to but I don't I don't really like that type of playstyle personally because I like to use different weapons I like to snipe I like to slide on. Uh, now I've been trying to use fusion rifles as well because they're pretty good at the moment. So I like to div diversify my build. So using just obviously shotguns all the fucking time is too much. But that will be a different video about movement and stuff like that. Uh, we'll go back to Warlocks. I'd say the Thunder Strike melee, which is obviously for Stormcaller, is too much of a distance. They reduce the range of the Stormcaller Thunder Strike Strike because. 
for all the melees, Warlocks have typically been quite good range anyways, and obviously with Thunderstrike, it's too much. Uh, you can pretty much get one hit kills, it feels like, sometimes. Maybe you get in group hit, like someone shot you shot before, and then the person melees you, but it feels like sometimes I get one hit meleeed. With that and Blink Strike for um, Blade Dancers, I don't know if it's being I'm um, getting group shot or something like that, or it's just a one hit kill. That needs to be stopped. Again, another one hit kill thing, which is ridiculous in Crucible, you should not have it. And also the duration of Stormcaller's Trance. I know you can counter it, but it feels like they're one of the stronger uh, supers, I'd say, at the moment. So that maybe you needed a little bit tweaking, so maybe the duration would be shortened. I don't know how they would do it, but it's a little bit too powerful compared to the other supers at this current time. Uh, obviously Firebolts, which is a standard. You normally typically find that more in Trolls than anything else. It's ridiculous how they can get so much burn damage from one grenade and you'll be on a uh, quarter of health. So obviously all they need to do, rush you, fire fire bolts, rush you again, and obviously shoot you, and basically you've got a small sliver of, of health. Ridiculous, needs to be gone. Hopefully they will get rid of it soon. They said they're working on it. Now we're going to talk about weapons. First off, I'm going to say about snipers. Again, obviously one hit kills. I don't mind that as much. thing I don't mind, I hate is hard scopers, but to be honest, that's a play style, you can't really help that. Snipers are supposed to be one hit kills with headshots anyways. The thing I would say they probably need to do is probably reduce the aim assist with it. And I use snipers quite a lot, I love them. But the thing I would say to counteract that is they are very skill based orientated. Even with some of the snipers which have a lot of aim assist. People say that you don't have to have skill to use them. Yes, it does help, but you need to be skillful and aim for the head. So, Bear that in mind, what I have found, especially since the last or eight, April update, the flinch is unbearable with snipers. So you've got people using hawk soils, any fast fire rate uh, pulse rifle, even with scout rifles, doctrine of spamming, which is we'll go into in a minute, which is probably point fucking A of the whole video. Um, all these type of weapons, there's too much flinch when you're aiming down sights with snipers. Now obviously they've reduced it a little bit with the scopes, so obviously it's harder to snipe anyways, so I've always, I found it not to be much different, to be perfectly honest, because if I am sniping, I'm never going to be one of the people who's going to shoot you at close range, so that's actually a beautiful thing that they've done that and got rid of them people quick scoping and work bollocks. I was never really, really one of them people, I always had some distance when I was sniping to shoot someone, which personally I do think it takes skill. But I think there's too much flinch. Because there's some engagements now, even when at long range, I've been getting shot by a pulse rifle, my scope's gone woo to left and right, and I've not been able to take any shot at the, the opponent. If they're close range and shooting me, or mid range, which typically would it be, that makes more sense. I can understand why there'd be flinch, stuff like that. This game has absolutely hardly, well, personally, probably no damage fall off for most weapons and there should be something to do with flinch for certain ranges it makes perfect sense i don't know if it would be suitable in the gameplay so, uh, side of it but personally i think that should be a thing which is implemented talking about damage fall off the doctrine of spamming now this weapon is fucking obnoxious you there's obviously people who have skill while using this weapon there's obviously people who use it because you can spam the fucking button. You literally hold it in one place, you just pray that the, the damage over time will kill someone, etc, etc. Now, with this weapon, I've been killed at multiple ranges. Considering it's basically like the Athens epilogue, you just hold down it, spray and play. Like, you should not be able to kill someone from halfway across the map with the Doctrine of Spamming. Now, if they reduce the damage fall off, which basically means in layman's term, if I'm shooting you at close range, obviously you're going to kill me. The fire rate, you're getting multiple shots, the damage is going to be increased. So say for instance a crit is 12, at range it should be a 9 or a 10. It may not sound like a lot, but when you're getting fired 60 odd bullets at you, it makes perfect sense. Obviously with close range and non a non-critical point, or a uh, non-critical shot, Say for instance you start off at 10, it goes down to 7 or 6 or something like that. And again, the further away you are, the less damage you're doing. Because, uh, you know, I understand it's going to do damage at range. And this this goes for all weapon types and archetypes in uh, Crucible, Scout Rifles, to... You name it. 
pulse rifles you get pulse rifles again is another one I think the damage fall off needs to be a little bit lower than it previously is uh, what well, it has been from before they need to work on that as well so that's flinching I say the most overpowered weapons at the moment which are top ones which I actually used using in this the first part of the video is obviously minor multi tool too much I'd say the fire rate is probably too quick for it needs to reduce it a little bit for it because you have, you can just spam bullets obviously you have to have some skill with uh, minor multi tool because all the kills that I got with that with Mida are all pretty much headshots or shoulder shots or top body shots anyways I'm not hitting lower unless you know you get your chop which will be like that anyways but most of them were precision shots or get a headshot so you need some skill to use Mida and that's actually quite balanced now but maybe the fire rate is probably a little bit too fast compared to some of the other scout rifles out there which probably wait why it makes it a little bit stronger than the previous ones um, doctrine and spamming again in certain users will probably abuse it that needs to be toned down a little bit and with the close quarter maps then obviously it's going to happen same with shotguns the only reason why they've ever been really good is because movement speed for crucible you can move around really quick you can blink you can do all sorts you can skate you can fucking jetpack you name it movement is very very quick in the game so shotgun has always been good in close quarter map close quarter maps which majority of them are anyways and obviously the main one i say at the moment weapon types is obviously the pulse rifles so the stronger ones we've got hawksaw uh, Sirius PDX 45, the Aegis of the Reef, anything which has got full auto and fast fire rate is ridiculous. Uh, before it used to be No One's Mercy. Pulse rifles have always been really good, but it's always been them really fast. Grasp Mallet, because obviously another one at the moment. Anything which is really fast fire rate is just OP as fuck at the moment. And they need to work on them types of um, hawk saws, them type of pulse rifles at this particular moment, because the other ones, like Red Death, them type of pulse rifles are being neglected and not actually used that much. So if they're going to have pulse rifles balance, I think that all of them should be usable. The ones which are overused at the moment is these ones, and they need a little bit of tweaking. Again, I don't know how they would do that. Maybe they'll have to reduce the damage output and stuff like that, because obviously it's a fire, faster fire rate ones. But overall, in conclusion, if you look at all the weapons which have in the past dominated and are dominating at the moment, so safe for instance, the last word. Last word's still good, but it's more balanced than it used to be. You used to be able to fucking spam again and get really quick things with the glitch with the last word, and obviously just the fire rate of it and stuff like that. They have tweaked it a little bit now, so you're not killing people as quick. But the th your thing you'll find with weapons, not subclass stuff like grenades and work type of jazz, the things that are annoying with Crucible is the stuff which has the fastest time to kill. If any computer game, if you've got something which has got a fast time to kill, how do you counteract it? You don't have time to... If someone's got to drop off on you first, they see you first and get the first few bullets, they're always going to win that engagement. And with a, a truly balanced game, that you wouldn't have that. So if you have a certain weapon which you might be able to counteract it, so if I blinked out the way and then shot somebody else, I might be able to kill them. If they've got the beat on me first, in theory they should be killing me anyways because I've reacted slowly and not realised they're there or they took, they took the first few shots. But you should be able to counteract it in certain engagements with uh, manoeuvrability out of the situation and then shooting them back. With weapons like this, doctrine of spamming, hawk saws, you name it, anything with full auto, which I personally think should be redu uh, reduced or even mo removed out of weapon types, but especially certain weapon types, you just don't have the time to react to it and obviously you die. So again, it doesn't make it fun. One hit kill stuff again doesn't make it any fun. And with games, uh, <laughs> with modes like Mayhem Clash and stuff like that, it's just trip mind city. It's gonna be fucking people just spamming the shit out of grenades. Obviously, getting four shots with gunslinger. But you know, it's different de uh, game mode, so it's what you expect. But overall, I think these are the main things that need to be changed. So grenades, one hit kills, reduced in damage, and maybe the frequency of them. Shoulder charge shouldn't be in the game. Uh, if it is, obviously not one hit kill do a huge amount of damage. Uh, obviously the juggernaut thing needs a tweak with that because obviously people are abusing it. Thunder strike melee distance needs to be reduced and maybe damage a little bit. I don't know, maybe not so much with damage because I don't know how they compare to the other warlock uh, ones. How much they do? Probably the same, I would assume. Duration of stormcaller trance obviously needs to be reduced. 
uh, how long you can use it for, stuff like that. Firebolt, self-expansory, they're ridiculous, they need to be fucking worked with, with the Sunsinger subclass, with fucking funeral, stuff like that, obviously. It's not the Firebolts itself, but OP, it's the stuff that you use it with that makes it more stronger and stuff like that. Doctrine spamming, fucking hate that gun, that needs to be changed. Obviously if people use it with skill, but some people spam it, they don't use it with skill at all. It's a bit of a, a crutch weapon. Uh, the faster fire rate pulse rifles need to be tweaked a little bit with damage output and uh, damage fall off. Same with the doctrine of spamming. And obviously the flinch for snipers. Snipers are skillful users. We shouldn't be uh, having as much flinch. Still have flinch because that's understandable if you're taking shots. But again, damage fall off, less flinch from a certain range. If you're up close, have more flinch. Self explanatory. I say they're my main things <coughs> in the crystal. If you leave yours in the comments section below what you think and if I miss any out that I probably have. I probably have missed some of the Night Stalker stuff but personally I don't find them as annoying. Maybe the, um, the smoke grenades and the ones that basically stun you and stuff like that. They're a little bit ridiculous with certain builds, I understand that but you know. I don't have, I don't come across that as much. Maybe in trolls every now and again. Maybe that can need a bit of a tweak for how much duration it's on for and how long it stuns you. Uh, the field of how where they deploy the grenades, the field of it. So if I run into it, it's less or something like that. So it doesn't obviously just sort of smother an area or stuff like that. I had one guy using it the other day, which is actually pretty new in in I banner. So yeah, maybe that goes on it as well. So yeah, the uh, the smoking stun grenades versions of. Um, the Night Stalker probably goes in there as well. But minus that, I can't really think of anything else, which personally pisses me off in Crucible. But these are things which are in the game. Obviously, I understand why they're used. Obviously, if you want a better hand against your opponent, you're going to use them. So I understand that. I use some of these myself. Not all the time, though. Definitely not, because I like to variate my builds and what I use and stuff like that. But anything which I've missed, please leave it in the comment section below and see constructively if you disagree with me or agree with me. Okay, Guardians, I hope you enjoyed what you've heard, what you've seen in the background, and obviously, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give the video a like, it always helps me out, and then obviously, again, leave your comments in the section below. Okay, Guardians, I'll see you all next time. Fight like that since Twilight Gap. <laughs> 